Hi, I'm Ollie Wright. I'm a developer technology engineer at NVIDIA, and today I'm going to be talking a little bit about acceleration structure building and why you should always do it on async compute. When you're building acceleration structures for ray tracing, you should always build them on an async compute queue because it's almost always significantly faster. Thank you for watching. So apparently I need to go into a little bit more detail. What is async compute? Well, async compute allows you to run compute shaders on a different queue to the normal graphics queue that you would run graphics workloads on. And the idea is they run in parallel. So you might have two workloads, uh, A and a B, and normally you would run them in serial. You would run one after the other. Well, with async compute, you can run one of them on a compute queue. And when you do that, the idea is those things will now run in parallel. So you'll get job A running at the same time as job B. Now you might find that they take a little bit longer individually, but the idea is that as a whole, they will take less time overall than if you ran them serially because they're able to make better use of the resources of the GPU. Now the best opportunities for, work, for pairing workloads are when you have workloads that don't contend for the same type of units in the GPU, the same resources. So you may have one workload that is very maths heavy, it's doing lots of maths operations, and another workload that's doing lots of texture reads, for example. And they will be very good candidates for pairing, for having one on one queue and a different job on a different queue. Now, acceleration structure build workloads run very well on GPUs, but they don't always engage the whole of the GPU. They're not running, they're not doing any graphics processing. They're not drawing triangles, for example, and they're not uh, doing lots of texture lookups and they're not hammering VRAM. So there's still plenty of GPU to go around when the GPU is running acceleration structure builds. They're a very good candidate for async compute. And they tend to be able to pair well with a large variety of workloads. Um, often you can just move your acceleration structure building to async compute and a large chunk of the latency that you would otherwise have can be almost entirely hidden. So let's take a look at an example. So here we've got um, a capture in Nsight graphics, a GPU trace, for part of a frame of a, of a game. And let me just get the laser pointer. Okay, so this section is doing the acceleration structure building. And then we've got some other stuff that's going on in the frame, some occlusion curling and I don't know what else, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. So what we're going to try and do is we're going to move this acceleration structure building off the, the, the direct queue, the, the graphics queue, and put it onto an a async compute queue. And you can see actually the, the, how much of the GPU is still available during these acceleration structure builds. But let's see what happens when we move that onto its own queue. So I'll just flick between them. So previously, the acceleration structure building took here 0.57 milliseconds. So we move it onto async compute. And now it's taking a lot longer. It's taking 0.83 milliseconds, but we've overlapped it. So in actual fact, the overall length of time for all of these workloads, and these are the same workloads in both, um, in both captures, the overall time is a lot less. So let's put them together so we can see that. We'll line them up. So here we can see that now we've got much better utilization of the GPU. The unit throughputs on average are a lot higher 
than they were previously. And when it was running on its own, the acceleration structure building took 0.5 milli 0.57 milliseconds. Sorry, The overall time saving we get by moving that onto async compute is 0 0.49 milliseconds, which is pretty good. That's most of the time that you would have had just You've, you've saved a lot of time just moving it. And that's it. So when you're building acceleration structures for ray tracing, always build them on async compute because it's almost always significantly faster. Thank you for watching.